Gracelyn, you just testified before the Senate Finance Committee on critical mineral supply chains. What was the key takeaway from your testimony? The key takeaway today was that we are not going to solve our mineral security shortage alone. The United States has less than 1% of the world's nickel, cobalt, graphite, 1.3% of the world's rare earths. So for us to get mineral security, we're going to need to tap into the geological potential of countries around the world. What are you watching to happen next? Tariffs are one of the hottest debates in Congress right now. How we use tariffs going forward will actually directly impact our mineral security for two reasons. The first is that the United States is currently building a lot of mineral processing facilities because China generally dominates this landscape. However, we need to use them strategically to make sure that we don't undermine the competitiveness of minerals coming into the U.S. for processing. The second reason is because when we put tariffs on critical minerals, it sometimes undermines uh, these trade imports. And what happens is we can divert trade to other countries, creating disruptions for key supply chains like agriculture, automotives, and semiconductors and defense. So going forward, tariffs will have a significant impact on the extent to which the U.S. fails or succeeds with building mineral security.